So I want to share with you one story that I heard of a philosopher from Allah many years ago. That it happened in Tel Aviv, just to bring out this point, I think it's a tremendous point. <clears throat> and that is that there was a there was a minion in Tel Aviv. When I say a minion, I don't mean a minion. There were nine people, nine men that wanted to daven for a minion. That wanted to daven and they didn't have a minion. So what happened was they, uh, they went outside and they were searching for a tenth man. And finally they see some Chilani guy. And uh, they call him in. He's like, no. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we need you. You're the 10th guy. And they're trying to convince him. They offered him cash money. And he said, I'm not coming to a sh- whatever that synagogue. I'm not there. Whatever. All in Hebrew, obviously. He's like, I'm not coming. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. They finally convinced him to come. And he came. He sat there the entire time. And he's listening. And he's watching. And davening. And after it was a small mincha. And after mincha was over, the guy was blown away. Now, he never stepped foot in a shul before. Okay? Tel Aviv. 20-something-year-old guy. Never stepped foot in a shul. Rahmanul Islam. Anyways. He, um, he, he said he was, but what was he blown away by? That there is a, a system where everybody says a main and it gets really loud and then in one second everybody stops and it's quiet. And then a and in a second it stops again, like the CMS shots, right? For all those non-Jewish people who are watching, it's a very interesting sight. See, we take this for granted. I'm saying, yeah, well, since we're kids, we know this, but like you have 90,000 people answering a main and and then a second later, it's dead silent. The last Amin before Shemun Esther, then it's silent for nine minutes. Everyone knows exactly what we are when. It's an interesting thing to be inspired by, but but that's what he was inspired by. And believe it or not, he ended up becoming firm, this guy, in Tel Aviv. First time in a shul, one small mincha, blown away by something that was pretty cool. And everybody asked his parents, all the Chilani friends, like, Ma, what is going on over here? This is your child. This is crazy. He become religious now. It, uh, everything, uh, unbelievable. In Hebrew, obviously, so there's no accent. But anyways, what was the pshat? And the parents said, you think it was that one mincha? It wasn't that one mincha. It was our parents. My father, when we moved to Tel Aviv from wherever Europe, and he was a regular Haredi guy, and he saw me go over Derech, and I got married to, you know, da, 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 and we wanted nothing to do with Judaism. And he davin and davin and davin and davin, and then our son was born, that man. And he was, and he was saying thing, regular Chilani, regular Chilani. And where did my father davin? He davin in that shul. He davin in that shul that they called him in. For years and years and years. And guess what? He died! thinking that his tefillahs went to waste. Look at my son, look at my grandson. My father died thinking every tefillah was for naught. And guess what? It wasn't. Because his grandson at the age of 20, whatever, 25, and now became Haredi because he went into that shul, because of that one mincha. No tefillah ever goes to waste, Rabbi say. No tefillah ever goes to waste. So let's take out our sederim and let's step up our tefillah and let's realize that even though sometimes it feels like a long shot or it feels like, does he really hear us or does it re- is it really making a difference? It's making a difference.